Millions of hard-up council tenants may have been soaked by the landlords over water bills, the Sunday Mirror can reveal. Up to 4 million could be in line for huge refunds after it emerged that at least one local authority added water and sewerage charges to rent in an illegal way. The council was paid commission by a water company to act as its agent, but failed to pass this on to 40 tenants to offset their bills. The system, seen as effectively reselling water, was deemed unlawful in a landmark court case and the council now faces paying out £28 million in refunds. Now tenants in nearly two dozen other areas want to know if their own town halls and housing associations have been pulling the same trick. Kim Jones image Steve Burton in a scandal that mirrors PPI missoling. We have seen documents claiming the unlawful agreements are common across the country. A team of lawyers is currently sifting through more than 30,000 claims from customers stretching across 22 districts including Birmingham, Liverpool and Yorkshire. The local government association says it is supporting a number of local authorities to make sure they are not overcharging tenants. And some of the UK's biggest water companies, while not being accused of wrongdoing, have confirmed they are reviewing the impact on the businesses. Ben Hawkins, of the group Action Water Claims Act, said local authorities and housing associations were trying to ignore a play down the issue. He said we have unearthed a nationwide practice of large social housing landlords, which includes councils and housing associations, who could be acting unlawfully. We suspect councils are trying to brush the issue under the carpet and hope it goes away. Thousands of people are looking at joining potential group action against social landlords who potentially unlawfully overcharged them. It could be massive. Part of the test case judges remarks legal experts say some of the most vulnerable tenants have been hit with bloated bills in a nationwide problem. Some may even have been evicted from their homes after the overcharging forced them into arrears. Solicitors are now preparing a style class action against councils amid fears as many as 4 million Brits could be affected. And up to 1,000 councils and social housing companies could be forced to repair huge amounts for deceiving tenants. It follows the landmark legal ruling that Southwark Council, the authority which runs a borough in South London, had illegally overcharged tenants for water. In a case where tenants were headed up by self-employed painter and decorator Kim Jones, the High Court was told the council had collected water bills from tenants on behalf of Thames Water. But it still overcharged tenants by the amount of commission it had received plus an allowance given for empty homes, which added up to 22.1% of the total charge. The judge said the council had contravened the 2006 water resale order and had effectively bought and resold water and sewage services. The council claimed the extra money was put back into its services. Stephanie Cryan, Southwark Council's deputy leader and cabinet member for housing, has claimed Thames Water had around 70 similar contracts in London and such agreements were common elsewhere. Now tenants in nearly two dozen other areas want to know if their own town halls and housing associations have been pulling the same trick image Getty Images already a legal team representing council tenants say they are investigating more than 30,000 cases where they may have fallen victim. Officials at councils in Wandsworth, South London, and Surrey-based Waverley, which also bill tenants on behalf of Thames Water, admit they operate the same system. Waverley Borough Council said it was offering a percentage of the commission we received for water charge collection between 1 April 2011 and 31 March 2017. An LGA spokesman said we are supporting a number of local authorities to ensure their arrangements are compliant with the court's decision. Watchdogs at Off What said we are aware that water resale can be an issue and have been contacted by people unhappy with the way the water charges have been calculated. Andy White, senior policy manager at the Consumer Council for Water, said we have worked to ensure that tenants living in properties where councils or housing associations have a collection arrangement do not pay a penny more than they would if they were paying the bill direct. Tenant had 13-year fight to get the truth by Dan Warburton A council tenant has revealed how she fought a 13-year legal battle to expose the bloated water bill scandal. Kim Jones, 60, first contacted Southwark Council chiefs in 2003 demanding to know why her charges were so high. She claimed they ignored her for more than three years, and it was only when she was asked to head up a high court test case that the scale of the illegal overcharging was laid bare.
Now Kim has been refunded £800 after being overcharged as much as £7 a week for years. Kim Jones has finally received a refund after being overcharged as much as £7 a week for years image Steve Burton she said in 2003 they said they would come back with figures but they didnt want to come clean, they tried to bury the scandal. As far as I was concerned they were hiding something and we knew we had to find out what that was. During last year's High Court case a judge ruled that Southwark Council had charged Kim an amount that exceeded the maximum charge allowed. Mr Justice Newey said his ruling was of considerable importance because numerous tenants could be affected and the case could also have implications for other landlords. Kim added the drains in this area are disgusting so if they have had put the money into sorting out the sewers then we would have been happy. But they wanted to hold on to it. Following the ruling Richard Livingston, who at the time was Southwark Council's cabinet member for housing, called it very disappointing. He said the council was providing a service to Thames Water and that the commission it received was intended to cover admin and non-payment. Any surplus cash went towards improving existing homes and investing in new ones. Southwark Council have spent months refunding tenants for the period covering April 2001 to July 2013, with the latest wave happening in January. Chiefs tried to downplay the issue, saying on the website we didnt knowingly overcharge tenants, because we thought we were acting as an agent. As the court decided that we were a water reseller, this means we mistakenly overcharged by the amount of the commission Thames Water paid us.